An encounter with these magnificent creatures can often be the highlight of a trip to the zoo. The UK has 49 elephants the public can go to see. 30-year-old Shaka is one of two at Noah's Ark Zoo Farm near Bristol. I think everybody's a bit struck by the size of them. Um, it's something you can't really get across on the telly, you can't get across in a book. People are fascinated by their trunks, watching them be so dexterous, picking grass. Ours are all boys in a bachelor group, so they spend a fair amount of time like, wrestling with each other, like showing really positive um, behaviours with each other and like social interactions. So they are extremely popular. But is what we get out of it worth what the elephants might be experiencing? The Born Free Foundation says no, pointing to evidence like these videos of repetitive, compulsive behaviour indicating an intelligent animal in distress. The charity highlights that in captivity, four in ten baby elephants die before they reach five years old, compared to one in ten in the wild. Their average lifespan is far shorter, 20 years compared to 50 in the wild. And breeding programmes fail so often, wild elephants are still captured for zoos in some countries, though not for the UK. What we are calling for is a gradual and humane phase-out, and what that would begin with is the immediate end to breeding, but also the immediate end to imports as well. And then the elephants which do remain in captivity, they need to be um, consolidated into the best facilities possible. These are both African savanna elephants. However, zoos argue inspiring and educating people about nature is crucial. And while some countries do have a poor record, the UK is a pioneer of good practice and vital research. There are projects we are able to do uh, in our zoos and safari parks that are simply impossible to do in any other way, whether that is developing a world-leading pioneering vaccine against diseases uh, that are afflicting elephants, or whether that is reducing human elephant conflict in the wild which is driving a lot of them towards extinction so by having such world leading standards we're able to improve the lives of elephants all across the world at the moment the government is reviewing the rules about how uk zoos are run so it'll be ministers who'll soon decide if keeping elephants in captivity should continue catherine jones five news somerset